this will be like intellectual basketball, and you're our Dr. J. I just hope I don't get hung from the intellectual rim. So, you're the only black kid in class, and you're being picked on because you have different opinions, or maybe you're sitting there and you're not actually voicing your opinions out of fear of being labeled the angry black girl or the angry black boy or the angry black unicorn whatever you choose to be we are open and accepting here now ah, you talking to black asshole and you just want to feel like you are a normal student but every time there is any issues regarding black people or regarding race comes up in class they're looking at you to have an opinion and your opinion might not match up with theirs and you don't want to cause a problem but at the same time you want them to know you might also be introverted and you don't know how to let them not walk over you and tell you how to think well my friend i'm here to let you know and as I got older and uh, become more of the person that I want to be, sometimes I look back on my college days. For those of you who might be from a different country, university days, that works? When I look back on my college slash university days, I sometimes find moments where I was the only black kid in class and my opinions were clashing with the general population of the class, if you will. I wish that I was a lot more assertive. I wish that I'd let them know what I was feeling, and even if it doesn't match up with what they're feeling. I wish I'd let them know that I have boundaries that they need to respect and they can't just say anything to me or just anything around me without expecting that I would not have a response. So you might be wondering, how can you be more assertive without becoming a target in class, without people not liking you, without the professor not looking at you like, I don't know, that one always starting something. The main thing you should be worried about is being respected. Not so much worried about if people are gonna like you, because in reality, the older you get, the more you go out into the world, you'll see that people will just not like you based off of just the way you look. People will just say, oh, I don't like them. Their eyes are asymmetrical or their eyes don't match up. Their teeth are crooked. So what are you going to do? Morph into something different every time someone doesn't like something about you? No. When you're more assertive and you let people know what you stand for and what you won't stand for, then they really have no choice but to either just not have anything to do with you overall or they understand and respect that you have boundaries. So while you're in class and you're thinking, oh, they, they don't like me because I said something last week, but are they going to attack you the same way they did last week, this week, now that they know that you are willing to speak up for yourself, you're willing to advocate for yourself? Are they going to react the same way the next time? You don't want to be in your late 20s or maybe in just a few months. You don't want to look back on things and think, well, I wish I had handled that situation differently. I wish I was a different person in that moment. Maybe if I was the person I am right now, that situation would have gone differently. I've been in class where I've been made out to be angry and the one with a differing opinion. One time in particularly, I remember saying to my classmates that I think that a walk out on campus wouldn't actually have an impact because it would be like speaking into an echo chamber. So maybe the protest should be out in the city where everyone doesn't have like a eye of mine already. And I was reminded by not only the class but also the professor that it's it looks better on social media. 
The protest will look better on social media if it's associated with the school's name instead of people just protesting, you know, for actual change. I'm here all by myself. Oh my God, there's a huge mob of white people. This is terrifying. And instead of pushing further and saying, hey, you guys just want your ego stroke, that's the only reason why you're getting involved in this protest, I kind of fold over and just said, you know what, whatever. Excuse me as a premise. A rodeo man over there. <laughs> These two ancient fucks. <laughs> The fucking crow boy. <laughs> hey, Morton Harkett called. He wants his fucking jacket back. <laughs> now, anything, you were born 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Hair still wet from the fucking womb. If I was the person I am right now, I would have asserted myself more. I would have let them know, hey, you are talking about something that will impact me. You are talking about doing a protest regarding black people. And I am the only black person in this class and I'm making a suggestion that I think would actually cause an impact and you're telling me, the black person in the class, that my idea of things to help black people does not matter because yours are better ideas. Do you see that? Don't cross that border with me. I realize the dynamic that's going on here. You are the majority and I'm the minority in this situation, but you are talking about a topic that involves me. You're talking about what would be better for black people. And when I give my black input, you're basically shutting me down because you think you know better. So how exactly are you better than the people that you are protesting against? to let them know that they're just stroking their ego and having a wank. And I didn't. And I look back on that day and I wish that I did. I wish I had spoken up more. I wish I had been more assertive. I wish I had been more self-confident. And I realized that the more you know about your opinion, the more information you have to back up your opinion, the more you are willing to say hey you're crossing a border that i don't appreciate you are saying or doing something that i don't appreciate and i do not appreciate that you are trying to somewhat talk over me every time i try to offer my input on a topic and i know it's becoming a cliche where people always say you gotta read more to understand the more you read the more you become a better more rounded person and it's true the more you read or consume certain kind of information that's actually valuable to your mind then the more you will understand the reason why you have certain opinions that you do have and the more you will be open to letting people know your opinion and without any fear of them thinking you're angry or you're hateful because of your opinion or your opinion is isn't value anything if you can back up your opinion with information then it's the chances of people just completely discounting what you have to say they dwindle So your takeaway should be from this, if you are the only black kid in class, you shouldn't be worried about whether or not the professor or the kids in class actually like you. You should be more worried about if they respect you. If you stand up for what you believe in, you're less likely to become a target because people understand your boundaries are where your boundaries are and even if they don't like it, there's only so much they can do to change you and change what you have to say thanks for watching this video if you like this video leave a thumbs up if you don't like this video leave a dislike i don't know engagement is engagement what can i say regardless of if you're a black kid in class maybe you're a minority a different minority in a class amongst a different majority let me know in the comment section your personal experience this isn't the last i will see of you but also can I just get a education?